And for crying out loud, he was even a married man, but he kept lying and I found out that he was married. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, guys, um, I feel like recently I've said to make my channel to be more like a lot of story times to talk about some things, you know, at the same time when there are nothing to put on the channel, I've decided that I should come on here and give you side and give you guys one or two stories fun stories actually so guys so today we'll be talking about um how do i put it life as a model in nigeria and life as a model and a student in nigeria and i'm resting precisely so let's get started let's get into the video because a lot of things is about to go down i started modeling at um 2020 i think 18 yeah i started modeling at 18 so yeah i started when at first when i started the modeling and all that because actually i stayed going for the first time i went to an audition i didn't even practice much but i just went there with the mindset that oh if they pick me fine if they don't pick me hmm, and i'm going to go home because when i went for that audition I went there with the mindset that we are told that we are going to get paid for the show so i was so happy and i went for the audition i was like wow we're going to get paid i'll get officially paid i walk on the wrong way and it was more like a student edition a student whatever since we're having some fashion week so i was so so excited so when i got there i got picked and i was so happy fast forward to everything the show and all that then suddenly after we got picked those that got picked we are selected um and then we are told that we are going to keep practicing and we are going to lodge in they were going to lodge us in a hotel for like two days so that we could practice for the show and all that get your outfits you know everything and suddenly we are asked to pay some money guys i was daft i was I was like i was desperate i was like i then i was desperate i was like oh my god i want to this is what i wanted to do so anything that i wanted to do i was i was going to bring out my money to do that so guys can you guys believe that we are asked to pay seven thousand naira pay seven thousand you're a model you want to work for a show and you are asking me to pay to work on the show i think we need to no move on though that ain't no problem huh? that ain't no problem i was selling I didn't have any counseling there. I didn't even know much. So I was like, okay, I'm going to pay. I had to. That was, guys, that was like my savings I was getting from my parents then. I just had to squeeze this money. I was even among the first to thought people that paid. Ugh. I was so ready to work on this show. I was among the first to thought people that paid. And when I paid, I, I sent the money and fast forward to B. The day of the show, guys, this show was whack. This show was horrible. There was no organization. There was no coordination. There was no even, like, everything was just rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. And I just regretted it. Like, guys, really. Okay, so, um, after the show, time for us to get paid. We didn't find any of the, immediately after the show, we couldn't find the directors again. are you sure about that we are like okay let's hold on went to the group i went back home we said chatting chatting them up reaching out to them i was like okay what of our money we're supposed to get paid we did not these guys suddenly cut off all connections that we had with them guys this was like this was really oh god thinking about it now is just so funny so yeah and after that we now he now later i now messaged him the guy that organized the show i message i kept messaging him messaging him messaging him non-stop messaging him non-stop can you believe that after everything this guy just forwarded two thousand naira to some of us ah 
we have suffered number two struggle number two struggle is people have with the mindset that they can't have anything to do with a model because they feel like models sleep around like there are a lot of things happening in this industry that people don't talk about and another struggle is your director or your cast director or whoever or your organizer or whatever trying to sleep with you trying to have something sexual with you which is a very very high like there was this man i met when among all my all my hauntings i met him he was a director for the show that was about to go on and a lot of model girls they were like oh my they were feeling this nigga they were feeling this man wow it was so funny they were all feeling him and you know when you feel something person does not feel i mean i was coming to my audition with my full heart and all that i'll just come go come go then suddenly the man started getting maybe seeking attention where i was and all that then suddenly he got my contact we started talking he was asking me out on dates and it's not like when we even come out he's even ready to spend money we just buy one bottle of this thing and just keep it there i'm like ah what was this why even if i was young i wasn't stupid I wasn't stupid to just fall for somebody comes to tell me oh i really like you all those camouflage don't listen to men don't listen to adam adam will frustrate you and embarrass you except this adam the rest will frustrate you and embarrass you so he now told me that okay he was going to do this thing what did he even say Okay, he told me that, yeah, that he was going to, because, you know, now when you see somebody, when you see a model that is still a student, and maybe you see her, and you feel like, okay, she doesn't know much, you feel like you can deceive her. It's not like, hmm, that he's going to take me find the modeling industry, that he's going to take me places, blah, blah, blah. I was not like, wait, to. I was in my mind, I don't looked at him. You have not finished taking yourself places, it's now me, and me, it's now me that I now want to come and take places. You take your first places first. Before you can take me places, bro, who do you think I am? A promise year old. I was like, I was just nodding to his endless promises. I was not like, okay, okay, and okay, what else? What else? Then he now still making advances at me. I was like, and then, I mean, I was, I normally to go for an audition, to go for modeling audition or whatever. I don't even need to let my parents know. I'll, I'll basically sneak out of the house lie or see something else just to go because i didn't even want you know african parents drama concentrate on school don't do this don't do this while you're in school but i didn't want any of that so this man still making advances i was like who the fuck who's wrong with this man what does he take me for i told that his advances countless of time for crying out loud he was even a married man but he kept lying and i found out that he was married so at first when i found out he was married i kept asking him and he was still denying the whole fact and i was like anyways i'm not even ready for bands with you and that was just it i cut him off totally i stopped picking his calls and all those kind of things and number three is free jobs guys as a model and as a place that is undeveloped a model and it's underdeveloped a model and a student and maybe you're now in like now it's getting developed but in an amber state for you to even get recognized you have to do a lot of free works guys i cannot count how many let me just say i've just worked on not like an official official room i've never worked on an official runway like all these magazines and all that maybe in the future god can take me there but for normal stuffs like normal whatever i have done a lot of free shows like you just do it and be like let you just get the pictures to, to um, because you don't pay for the pictures you don't pay for transport you don't pay for anything be like what's there to lose let's just work but you work hard guys you still literally stay under the sun practicing your stairs practicing your cast work wearing heels your legs will be aching at the end of the day and all that like it was so guys it's not an easy thing and i've just decided that i should just take a break from modeling at the time because i feel like i feel like it comes with a lot it comes with a lot and when you're not financially stable as a model you are going to find a lot of difficulties you're going to see a lot of tempting things like people will promise you things just because of you don't have the money to to um, afford them so i feel like as a model you should just maybe get your financial freedom first and when you get your financial freedom first 
you would um you would be able to grow yourself you don't need an agency you don't need an agency to grow yourself because like me i'm a freelance model i'm not under any agency at all and okay i even remember it. <laughs> the time i was going hunting i was going for agency hunting i was trying to the same financial reasons i was trying to okay let me find an agency that will just link me up to you know jobs you know get me my whatever my audience and then i was in an android for you know i don't know if we cannot even snap you a good portrait and i have to like look for my friends are in an iphone to like be like okay when i free let me snap a portrait but guys i, I kept looking for this um organization i kept looking for an agency and i found one that i sent my pictures to and i forgot what he said but he just indirectly ignored me i was like hmm. i said okay cool they picked those they want and i decided to just take a break which is the break i'm in now in the next two months or three i think i'm going to go back when i am ready and when i go back i'm going to start i'll start with myself I'll concentrate on myself build myself because when you build yourself the agency start reaching out to you because it was not really and it's not really an easy thing to just just start up and just start on your own you understand so i feel like you have to take care of yourself first before you expect people to like you know try to reach out to you and you know all what's me so and another thing another most funny thing that people even get that gets to people that don't even get to me is intimidation by other models yeah. other thing is intimidation i don't know i don't like making friends with i have model friends though but we are not so close because i don't really like making friends with model friends because there's a lot of competition over here there's a lot of competition some people are just rude for no reason like i mean we came for a casting for a show together I try and make friends don't just sit on one side and you're forming that oh you've worked on different shows so we shouldn't talk to you like we shouldn't i don't understand don't do that and if you've worked on countless of shows that doesn't mean that you should now take others as trash like i mean this is not even when you'd be like modeling was so fantastic but now everybody's literally a model everybody is a model like basically and the shit is just this is now casted over hype and i feel like it's not everybody that will make it in that industry so i feel like just take it easy on yourself do it for fun do it for passion but me sometimes once i just do just why i just like working on the wrong way is because i like the camera i like when there are a lot of lights and the lights are just centered on me it gives me one kind of feeling like I am so amazed. I'm like, bro, look at me. I'm the light here. Yeah. Look at me. Eyes on me, please. So that was basically what it's just like. So I'm going to share today these little struggles about anybody that's trying to be a model. And these are the things that you must meet. You're not even like me. You must meet. You must meet all this. So just be prepared. And follow the right steps and do not do something that you do not want to do because of pressure or because of you want to be like this person or be like the other person do you and if it's not going well then take a step back because it's not for you so thank you guys once again for staying up on this channel and enjoying this little chit chat with me you might be seeing my face more often because a lot of things are now I have a lot of things now on my plate so I think i have to settle a lot of things at the moment so yeah i see you guys when i see you guys thank you guys so much for staying on this channel and have a nice day don't forget to like subscribe share my videos to your friends and turn on your post notification 